I freaking finished 75 hard. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm sure this is probably your first time here. So if it is, be sure to subscribe because we got some more videos coming to you. But my name is Dana. I'm a lifestyle, social media influencer, blogger, all of the things, mom, wife, friend. I mean, I have a lot of different titles. But today I'm excited because we are going to talk about my 75 hard journey so over on my instagram where i am most active i have been sharing my fitness journey every single day and you know sharing this thing called 75 heart which a lot of people had no idea what the heck 75 heart is so i really want to talk about my journey some tips i have personally you know how i got started all of that and then I want to answer the questions that I received because I asked on my Instagram stories if anyone had questions and I had a boatload of questions. So I'm gonna try to answer as many as I can. But let's talk about 75 Heart and what this thing is because a lot of people, when I was sharing it on my Instagram stories, was like, oh, how can I sign up? How much does it cost? Did you start this? And I'm like, no, back it up. 75 Heart was started by motivational speaker, entrepreneur, social media influencer he has a ton of different titles as well i don't know a ton about him personally but i know he started this challenge and i was like okay i'm gonna do it his name is andy frisella this is his challenge if you google it he has a website he has all kind of information specifically on it but we're going to talk about it today 75 hard i have my notes is you have to work out two times a day for at least 45 minutes one of those workouts has to be outside. So that's one. Two, you have to drink a gallon of water a day. A gallon. Listen, I have my water right here that I drink. Two of these, I drink two of these. Number three, you have to stick to a diet, any diet, whatever works for you. And I really love that about this challenge is that they don't say a specific diet because we all are different, all body types, we all require different things. So it's just like, girl, pick a diet, stick to it. The fourth thing is you can't have any alcohol. You can't have any cheat meals. So if you're into drinking, you're gonna have to give that up for 75 days. No cheat meals, no sneaking into the cabinet late at night, grabbing those cupcakes, none of that. The next thing is that you have to take a progress picture every single day every single day you have to take a picture of your body just so that you can see your progress and also it's just about discipline and building up the discipline to do things i mean it's about losing weight but it's also more so about mental toughness and discipline that's really what it's about you have to read 10 pages of a book a day and it has to be a self-help book it can't be reading murder mystery or the latest sex novels you know in the little ghetto sex novels no, none of that. It has to be a self-help nonfiction book. This is the most important thing. If you fail, if you forgot to do something, if you cheated, then you have to start over at day one. This is all mental. It's all for you to say that you accomplished something at the end of the day. So you have to not cheat yourself. You know what I mean? If it's like, you gotta get that second workout in. If you gotta walk outside in the rain, then that's what you gotta do. I've done it several times throughout this journey. If you have to work out at 11 o'clock, then that's what you have to do. Like this is a mental game. Like, are you up for the challenge? This isn't all about losing the weight. This is all about self-discipline. This is about mentally getting yourself just tougher. You know what I'm saying? To say that you can do something. This is what it's all about. And this is exactly why I need to do this for myself. Like I need to push myself. Like how often in our lives are we truly pushing ourselves to see if we can complete something? A lot of people always start something and then never finish it. Like, are you one of those people who start something and say, oh, I'm gonna do it. And then you're like five days in and you never do it or you never stick to a diet or you never stick to a workout plan or you never really push yourself to do something consistently for 75 days. That's what I wanted to do. I really wanted to challenge myself to see, can you do something? Can you do something that you say that you're going to do? Period. I'm asking you, if you commit to something, if you say you're going to do it, are you the type of person that's going to actually finish it? 
I wanted to prove to myself and anyone who's watching that if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to work my ass off to do it and complete it. And that's really what it's about. And that's why I say it's not really about the losing the weight. I did have weight loss goals, of course, but it was more so about challenging myself and completing something. And I have this shirt, Purpose Turns to Action. I love this shirt. When I saw that Zara, I'm like, girl, you got to get it. But it's really about what's the purpose? Why are you doing it? And I think a lot of times people start something and then they don't have the why. They're like, oh, I'm gonna start 75 hard. Okay, girl, but why? Why? Why do you wanna do this? I think that's super important. So figuring out your why is going to really motivate you and push you through this thing because girl, it's hard. It is hard as hell. It's not called 75 easy. It's not called 75, this is okay. It's 75 hard because it's hard, but can you push yourself through hard things? Can you do it? Okay, enough rambling because I can talk all freaking day. So let's talk about how I was able to do it. So let's talk about the tips. So number one, working out two times a day. Working out two times a day. A lot of times when people hear that, they think like, oh shoot, that's gonna be too hard, which I mean it is, but honestly, the working out two times a day was probably one of the easiest parts for me because I'm naturally an athletic person. Again, I said I, I played Division One basketball. I'm used to working out at the highest level, but again, that was 10 years ago. I'm a little retired, my body ain't the same, but that's besides the point. I'm still naturally a person that likes to be athletic. So the working out two times a day wasn't a huge kicker for me, but what I will say is that it does not have to be two crazy workouts. Like it is 45 minutes and 45 minutes can be a lot, honestly, but it does not have to be two strenuous workouts because again, guys, this is for 75 days. Like the list that I told you is for 75 days straight. You can't take any breaks. You can't say, oh, I'm gonna rest on the 10th day and not do any of this you have to work out two times a day for 75 days straight. So if you put that into context, it's like, I literally don't have a break. I can't just sit and rest. This is a marathon, this is not a sprint. So think about how your body is gonna feel working out two times a day. So you don't need two crazy workouts a day. Honestly, that's not good for your body, really, unless you're like a top-notch athlete or a freaking NBA player, maybe they do that. But for the average person, we're not working out strenuous workouts two times a day. So I would suggest one of your workouts be obviously a high intensity workout. And the second workout be a walk outside. I, that The walks got me through this, literally. I was walking every day. Like that was my main second workout was walking. I would walk for 45 minutes. That ended up being, I think, a little like two two and a half miles depending on my pace you know some some days i only get two miles because i'm taking a nice little trolley walk you know just a little something and then sometimes i would have a little extra energy where i want to get you know two and a half miles or two you know 2.75 miles but again it doesn't have to be crazy workouts also it can be yoga yoga you can do yoga and stretching two times a day as your workout. The next tip I have about workouts is that you really have to plan your workouts. Like what is gonna be your strategy? Because sometimes people just wake up and think, oh, I'm just gonna work out today. But if you're not really trained and at like working out and knowing what the hell you're doing, it's kind of hard to just wake up and say, oh, I'm gonna work out. So for me, I needed structure. I needed discipline. So I signed up for a gym. One of the gyms is called Ether Frog Fitness. Then I got a trainer, a personal trainer, where I worked out with him once a week. And then also he gave me workouts to do like every other day. And then I got a mixed fitness bike, which allowed me to do some spinning, you know, riding, and also some other just like cross training. So it gave me exercises. So definitely figure out what's going to be your method of how you're going to work out and get that activity in because if you don't have structure it's going to be very hard for you to sustain like you need to be able to sustain this so you need structure whether it's getting workouts off of youtube which i did a ton i found some of my favorite youtube pages and i follow their workouts or I found workouts on Instagram, or I, like I said, I got a trainer that gave me workouts, and, or I signed up for a gym. My next tip is about the water intake. Now, 
getting a gallon of water is very hard especially if you're not a water drinker i naturally like to drink water water is my liquid of choice before starting 75 heart i was heavy on the juices though like lemonades and like you know the sweet minute maid juices and the simply juices and all of that but i completely cut out anything that wasn't water so to get my gallon of water in every day first i would recommend getting a large water bottle this one is a half a gallon so i drink two of these every single day i recommend the way that you're able to get the water in is by starting early with your workouts so for me i was working out at like 6 a.m every single morning so by then i'm obviously you're working out so you're drinking more water during that time so i was able to finish almost a half um, or a quarter of a gallon before like 7 a.m so i suggest working out early helps get that water in my next tip about dieting so the great thing like i said earlier is that there is no set diet you can pick whatever you want so for me i cut out dairy and i obviously cut out any fried food any fast foods stuff like that i was mainly eating chicken like baked chicken fish baked fish like turkey meat and stuff like that and tons and tons of vegetables my diet has since changed and this is probably going to be a whole separate video because the book that I'm reading currently, You Are What You Eat, I'm learning so much. Lord, this book is changing my life. Like I said, this is a whole separate video I need to do about this book and my eating and how I'm changing. But basically, I am going to try <laughs> to cut meat completely out of my diet for now and stick to more of a vegan diet. I'm not gonna stress myself out about it too much, but again, we'll talk about that later. But definitely the diet is picking something that works for you, that you can sustain, but also that's gonna obviously work for your body so that you're meeting your goals. My next tip for the reading part, the tip I have for reading or being able to get your reading is, is to definitely do it early. I found myself trying to read at the end of the night when I'm tired and I would be not enough trying to read or have fallen asleep or not really consuming the information because i'm tired so i would definitely say getting the reading out early getting the first workout in early so that you're starting your day even more like fulfilled and energized and my last tip and i think i may have said it earlier is that you absolutely positively have to listen to Andy's podcast before starting. And the reason I say that is because he really breaks down this challenge, the why behind it. He's overall just inspiring and motivating and he just fires you up to do this. Like, I honestly feel like if I didn't listen to the podcast before doing it, I would not have finished it because I wouldn't have known my real why. I wouldn't really know the why behind this challenge, which is for willpower, it's for um, discipline is for strength it's not really about losing the weight I mean it you know obviously that comes with it but it's more so about your strength and your willpower in the will to finish and get something done I am so proud I don't even think I said anything about meeting my goals like I am so proud of my body overall how I feel let's talk about that I feel so good that I'm just, I'm just so grateful that I did this. I'm so glad that I pushed myself to finish. I'm so glad that I started because one, I feel so much better. I'm sleeping better. Mentally, I feel clearer. I feel happier. I feel less stressed, more energized. Like I have more energy. It's crazy because I'm working out more, but I have more energy. Like I feel like People are like, how are you able to do so much? And it's just like, ah, I just have the energy to do it. I don't know. But I just, overall, I just feel good. And I feel like this is something I'm going to continue. Not the working out two times a day, but working out and really taking care of myself. So now we are going to hop into the Q&A. I was asked, would I recommend 75 hard? So my answer to that is, yes, I would recommend 75 hard but I don't think 75 hard is for everybody. And that's just being completely honest. I get messages daily on my Instagram saying, oh, I'm starting 75 hard. Oh, I wanna lose weight. I'm starting 75 hard. Oh my God, I'm so inspired by you. I wanna start 75 hard, which I'm super grateful and happy that I'm inspiring people. That's the whole point of me sharing. 
but I don't think everyone is one up for this type of challenge two that is necessary for everyone and three that this is really truly for everyone you know if your goal and I mentioned this earlier but if your goal is just like oh I just want to lose weight okay well if that's your goal then go and do something else this is not for you this is more so a mental challenge 75 hard is not for everybody and that is okay if you don't really have the why and the purpose behind starting it then you're definitely not going to finish it so why even put yourself through this so again 75 hard is not for everyone and that is okay figure out your why figure out if this is something you really want to do and then determine if you want to go forward how many pounds did you lose so started at 158 or 159 ish 158 and a half whatever my goal was to get to 145 i felt like 145 is like my healthy fit weight and i got to 145 so i'm currently at 143 so a little bit under my goal which honestly is good i feel good look good so i lost about 15 pounds 15 pounds woo, woo. <laughs> what have you learned the most about yourself? Oh, honestly, I knew that I was a very strong person. I knew that whatever I set my mind to, I would get it. But I just feel like I've learned so much more strength and discipline. I tapped into another level of tenacity and grit that, you know, I haven't tapped into in a long time. Like I said, I was a athlete in my you know previous life 10 years ago um but now that i'm a mom now that i'm a wife now that i'm a business owner i feel like i wasn't tapping into that part of myself and i feel like i needed that extra challenge and i really wanted to do something for myself you know it's like we always as a mom especially we're always putting everybody first but it's like this is the time to put yourself first like you have to complete this you have to prioritize yourself or you're not going to get it done and I feel like that's what I learned most is the fact that I'm able to really put myself first to get something done and to tap into another level of greatness and I think it's just going to ultimately change my life what is your main daily exercise do you do weight resistance every day for my workouts I definitely do a lot of weight training now because my goal is to tone. In the beginning, I just was about losing weight, so I was doing a lot of cardio, and then I got a trainer, and he told me, girl, stop doing all that cardio because you're gonna be skinny, 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 and you're not gonna have any muscles, and you don't wanna be skinny fat, which is just skinny, but still just kind of saggy. I didn't want that, so he told me that I need to start to do more weights, so now I am incorporating more weights. So your time, let's talk about that. What was your schedule and how how were you able to achieve this? I worked out in the morning. I tried to knock out my first exercise early in the morning. Like I said, I have, I have two kids. I have a six-year-old who is in first grade now and then I have a one-year-old who is very demanding. The second question was, did I have help with my kids during this challenge? So yes, I had help with my kids. My mother-in-law lives with us, so she was able to help tremendously with the kids and obviously my husband, but he works during the day. So basically I have my mother-in-law here to help me. And that's another thing is that if you are a stay-at-home mom with kids, this challenge can be a lot, honestly. If you are the sole person that's watching the kids, it can be a lot and you, you probably won't be able to do it. And that goes back to my last point of that, this is not for everybody. If you don't have the time to commit to working out two times a day and doing all of these different steps, it may be just a little too much if you don't have the help. For me, I luckily and thankfully had the help of my mother-in-law who was here. So if I needed to dip out and get my outside exercises in i could do that and she would be here but i'm not saying that this is completely impossible if you don't have help i just think that it'll just be a 10 times harder <laughs> um to be able to get it done but you can walk outside with the kids you can you know work out inside with the kids i mean you can figure it out but yes i have help and yes i worked out early in the morning i got my first workout in early in the morning before everyone woke up and then my last workout, I usually would walk in the afternoon. Did your body have any setbacks in the beginning? Did you ease into it? 
girl yes those first like two weeks my body was just oh on fire like my legs were burning my arms were burning i just remember like literally not feeling like i could walk <laughs> like but that's because i you know when you go from not working out at all to working out you're gonna be naturally sore period so I had to get through those first two weeks of like pure soreness, like literally barely can move. Now I feel great. Now I don't get sore as much like that. Like at least not like that because my body is used to working out. So if I get sore, it would be like a little like, eh, my you know, arms a little sore, but nothing to where I can't like move. So yes, I did have soreness in the very beginning, I would say like the first few weeks and I just had to push through it. Like you can't just say, oh, I'm sore, I'm gonna stop. Like that's a part of the process. It's a part of the journey. If you're not sore the first, you know, few weeks, I mean, you're probably not doing anything. So you're going to feel, feel sore because this is something new for your body and you just got to push through. And I think on those, you know, first few days after, because you are so sore, you just got to keep working out. That's going to continue to like push your muscles to say, okay, I can push it. It's like, once you get sore, it's like your body gets to this level and then once you keep pushing it, then it gets to this level, then this level, you know? So you just gotta keep pushing through that soreness. And then if you just can't work out, just do something like yoga, stretching, that also counts as a workout. So you can do that to make sure that you're getting through it. How did you prepare mentally for this? Oh my gosh. Well, like I said, I just kind of dove right in. To be completely honest with you, I listened to the podcast and literally the next day, I was in it. I didn't, I wasn't the type of person that said, oh, I have to ease my way in or, oh, I have to give myself a certain start date. Like, oh, I'm gonna start on the first of this month. Like, I didn't do all that. I literally was like, boom, I'm about to start, let's get it. You know, like I'm that type of person. I'm not type to just keep putting it off because I think the more that you put it off, the harder it could become because you're just like, eh, I'll do it eventually. Like, no, don't be a do it eventually person. Do it now, get it done. That's just my mentality. So I didn't ease into it. I just literally listened to the podcast and the next day I started. I think you just have to turn on the light switch and stop like teeter tottering around it, you know? What day did you start to notice a change in your body, in your mind? I think I started to notice around day 10, absolutely. You notice results instantly with this because one, you're working out twice a day and then you're eating better and you're drinking the water. You're gonna notice definitely within the first week. That's what's great about this is that you really start to see change so it motivates you to keep going. So I started to really see change around day 10 and I felt better. I felt like after my body wasn't as sore because like I said, that first like week, Ooh, your body is your body is just done but i think once you get past that you notice the difference and you notice how much better you feel i think that's when i really was like okay this is working <laughs> that is it i hope you guys really enjoyed this very thorough <laughs> recap of the 75 hard journey that i was on overall i feel amazing i look amazing I'm so glad that I did this for myself and I would definitely encourage anyone that's looking to motivate themselves and push themselves outside of their comfort zone. Like I said, it's not just about weight loss. This is about a whole new mental change for you, getting yourself going and really doing something for yourself that you're, you normally wouldn't do. So I would definitely encourage it if that's something that you're looking for. And if not, if you're just looking to lose weight, go find a weight loss program that is fine too but again i really appreciate all of you who actually followed me on my journey throughout the last 75 days on my instagram cheering me on sending me motivational messages encouraging me it is definitely something that i needed and it does not go unnoticed so i'm so appreciative of my tribe and I'm so glad that I was able to just recap and share 
what I've learned so far. If you do have any additional questions outside of the ones that were already listed in this video, just send me a message on Instagram or comment down below and I will respond to them. Again, you can do this. You got this. If this is something that you want to do, let me know. Comment down below. Like, you now know exactly how I feel about it. So let me know if this is something that you ultimately really want to do. And I look forward to seeing your results because I hope you share them with me. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. More to come because like I said, I want to talk about how I'm changing my whole nutrition and diet plan. Not even a diet, like I said, a whole lifestyle change at this point. But I'll talk more about that. And that's it. I finished it. I'm done. Oh, I just feel great. Oh, I'm just stretching my body because I feel amazing. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I'm done. Peace out.